You know, it's been a few years since we talked about the miracle healing tree near the community of Concepcion. In fact, since we first reported on it more than a decade ago, thousands of people have visited the site. The tree was first planted in a home there 20 years ago, and over time, its supposed healing powers have drawn people from all across the country. Our Michael Gibson made the trip to this religious roadside attraction. A lot has changed as the tree suffered heavy damage from the big Texas freeze last year. But one thing that has not changed is people's belief that it can still deliver miracles. Ernesto Velopondo is a truck driver from the valley who's come up here to Concepcion looking for a miracle. Well, I recently heard about the tree. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, uh, about he, it's healing and, and I saw some, uh, some videos about it, about other people uh, coming by and how they were healed. And uh, it, it was just faith that brought me to it. Ernesto and his family came here to the Miracle Healing Tree. This nonprofit organization is located off of Farm to Market Road 1329 near Premont. Its drawing card is this olive tree, which when you touch it, is supposed to heal whatever ails you. The young truck driver says he's suffering from diabetes. He told us that he has heart and vision problems and even had to have his foot amputated. In the last year and a half, it, it just, my, my medical history just plummeted. It, it just went down my vision. Uh, I have heart problems. Estela Garcia planted this olive tree back in 2002. Soon it became known as the place in South Texas for people to go to be healed. I have been here to witness people that have come here blind, that have left seeing, people that have come here with diabetic, with heart disease, with tumors, with cancers, and I have proof of their uh, healing. Estela Cantu took over the Miracle Tree site from her mother after she passed away in 2017, a place that still has folks from all over the state and even the country lining up by the thousands on the weekends to simply touch the tree. We're told that one of the special features of this Miracle Healing Tree is that if you put your ear up to the trunk, you can hear something. So, as a good reporter, let's go listen and see if we hear anything. All right, let me get close to it here. I hear a water sound. It sounds like water being dumped out of a cup. Now, if you notice, this tree doesn't look the same as it did for the first 19 years of its life. That's because it was heavily damaged in last February's freeze. It had to be cut in half. Still, the tree came back to life and continues to provide hope. It, it was just faith that brought me to it, uh, wanting to to get healed myself. And now Ernesto and his family head back down to the valley and wait to see if touching this tree will produce the miracle that modern medicine hasn't yet been able to deliver. Michael Gibson, 3 News. Thank you, Michael. That